Yo, what's good? It is the one and only Vital in here, and you guys might not be noticing that my voice sounds kind of confused because I was playing Golden State and I Loki was raging, but I did not, I did not want to talk about it at all. But anyway, that being said, let's see what's going on with these bills. Now, as you can tell, the TK20 demo has officially dropped. That's the first thing, so if you guys have already made your builds, let me know right now in the comment section below what builds have you made for TK20. I might make two builds. I might make a third one for my um my, my main account, but this is a demo I'm playing my, on my main account. Even though I do have a second account for the demo and the full game. So be on, be on the lookout for that. I won't be playing the full game on the main account because, you know. Anyway, um, as you can tell... I'm building this right here is a small forward build, okay? So this is a, a finisher. This is a finisher build I made, you know, has all the finishing attributes, all the defensive attributes, and um all that such and such. So as you can probably tell I'm walking through what's going on right now, even though I am going to show you a little bit of gameplay, but at the same time as agents, I'm not gonna put as much gameplay on there because you know it's just too stressful just to play these teams. There's, there's no point playing the Golden State Warriors and just no, the no reason. There's just no point. It, so therefore, I say why not just go ahead and just get one gameplay in. But use my small forward build instead. So therefore, that's what I've been. That's what I've done. Um, make a small forward build, and then record game for the small forward only, and leave the guard build out because. It was more. It was more difficult than a small four, right? You know, this keeps going back and forth. I can't take the cheese. All right, but but this here's the difference. However, you can at least tell that this build it might be hitting 99 soon once the game drop after the game comes out. We did not really know. That is what you guys decide. Um, even though for me, I would rather choose a small four build because I looked on Twitter. You guys voted for a small forward or a power forward, but I chose small forward like I did like I did on TK19, the prelude. But I'm gonna be different this year, okay? I'm not gonna make a lockdown play. I'm not gonna make the same build I did last year for the for the prelude. I'm gonna do it another I'm gonna do a different build this year. I'm gonna make a straight lockdown slash a slashing defender, as I say, but or, or or finisher in this case in TK20 is what they renamed the build. So you can see I'm maxing out my wingspan. Uh, just a little bit, you know, trying to get a lot, of, a little bit of the details. And here we are. The main part itself is the takeover. Now, takeover is very important within your player. So here, I chose to lock down defender build because you know, you know, the takeover is a lot more than used to. But here we are. I built a finisher. It reminds them of Jimmy Butler, Dr. J, and Paul George. I really do not care. All right, but here's the second build. That's not the first build. Here's the second build. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Here are the badges. I forgot about the badges now. The badges are the second important thing. Okay, so I did. I have four upgrade. Now I have two badges: range extender and catch and shoot. Now I can't shoot that much on this ball four build. So keep in mind. Then I did put angle breaker on gold. I did put a few of the, you know, what I'm saying of the playmaking badges on gold. I can't get in the Hall of Fame because I finally understand why. Because I didn't see Hall of Fame for a second. And then defensive is the most important thing. So therefore, I put brick wall hall of fame. I put pickpocket hall of fame because you know, rim protector hall of fame. And then I had to get you know what? I decided why not just do you no know, um, lightning reflexes on hall of fame. That might be a good thing. And then the finishing badges. You guys already know we had to add the dunk. Otherwise, on offense, and the fast break finisher on hall of fame. You guys may see all these hall of fame builds. These badges for yourself, I mean, within your build depends on the position. Okay, so the, depends on the position. Super duper important. Now, let's just keep it real. Let's keep it hundred. Okay, and I also chose Giant Slayer to dunk over taller people. So get ready for me. Once I hit the park, get ready. Okay. Therefore, there's all the badges. It has 16 upgrades for. I have four hall. No, I got seven Hall of Fame badges. I got four gold and two bronze badges. No silver. No, yeah, one silver. So I said, you know what? That might be a good thing. I used how I use all the upgrades within each and every one of these builds. Now, 
This is the worst part. I had to play the Golden State Warriors, so as you see that in the end of the video. But now we're getting into the second build. This right here is the second build. This is the point guard I'm using, even though the movie is shooting guard because I'm a lot taller. So now this is the um, this is the playmaking. I forgot what build this was. I think this is the. Oh no, this is the inside out facilitator, right? Inside out, yeah, the inside out facilitator. Oh, however you say it. Let's call it the inside out build for a point guard. Now, it does it require driving dunks. Uh, a little bit of three points. I also have to get a little bit of the dribbling in there as well. And I had to save some of the attribute upgrades for certain t amount of badges that I could upgrade. So you see right here, I did get up my steals, blocks, put in the defense, a lot of quickness, interior defense. And I got eight badges, six finishing badges, 21 shooting, and 13 playmaking. That's a good build right here. Now, I did choose the body shapes. This is a lot different this year. Oh, this is a new thing to add into the game, most likely. Therefore, I am a 6-5 shooting guard. That's a 6-5 shooting guard. So, I decided why not take my height up a little bit since I am a shooting guard. Even though it's going to be a little bit difficult to shoot once it's just built. But you know what? I said, you know what? It's, it's whatever though. I don't need to shoot. Well, half of the time you do that. It, it depends, okay? If we're gonna get a 99, if you get a 99 on wall. So, therefore, this right here, these are my two builds. And I will have a center build as well, but for right now, let's keep it two builds a small forward and a point guard. Inside out facilitator. And then we get ourselves the finishers. See right there, inside out facilitator. Two, only, two ba only two builds I need to hit, hit 99 on wall. Plus the badges, okay? The badges are also important for a point guard, so therefore, I use pick and roller for the finishing badges. I did relent this finisher, and that's pretty much it. I only got two gold badges, so so what? And then I got shooting badges. I got 21 of them. Got your shoot Hall of Fame. De Limitless Ranges Range Extender. Hot Start Hall of Fame. I also got um, Steady Shooter Hall of Fame. So therefore, I can shoot a little bit of threes and then difficult shots on Hall of Fame. And you put a little bit of slippery off ball, which I don't know. I, I, I told you right now, which I don't know. Which I don't really need, okay? I don't want to speak in gibberish. And you have to do the playmaking badge. So I put ankle breaker on goals for general as well as space creator. And then stop and go. And then dimer. That's pretty much it. This is honestly pretty much This is all the builds. You can get to a 99 overall well, for me actually. It depends on what you guys think. If you guys think these are not the only two builds to hit 99, let me know. Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. And you guys also drop a, drop a like this video. And then, uh, yeah, so there you guys have it. Those are my two builds. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of gameplay while I added for my small four build because I did score 10 points. We It was a little bit of a closer game to use, which, you know, like I said, your own state was cheesing the entire time. I almost, I was raging just as hard. I almost threw my controller, but I did not want to lose another one. So if I keep it steady for now. And you see, some of the badges are working at the time. Most of them weren't. I really do not know, but you know what I'm saying? It's going gonna, gonna to take some time to get used to it, so therefore, just, just keep in mind, okay? This is, on, this is only the demo. This is just getting started. The, this, this just came out, okay? This just came out. But luckily, we got the win 68 to 81. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, um, watch me go crazy this year. We will go crazy when um, Sue's game hits on September the 6th. Or it's December 1st, depending on which, I don't know, depending on where you guys live. Which, you see, I also scored, yeah, I also scored the last game winner, I can't see. I, I scored the last game winner, it was surprising, so it's 12 points. Okay, so therefore, I just have it. A small, f also, those are my builds for now. So if you guys were wondering, let me know in the comments section below, like I said, what builds you guys want to see hit yourself 99 overall with. I uh, got yeah, my two builds right here, so you guys as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when the full game drops in two weeks. So get ready, two weeks. Cannot wait to get it started. Yes, the park game is not going to stop until, well actually, they get, uh, speaking of the park, they, they might have the, the park trailer, I don't know. I really don't know, but I, I hope so, Ronnie.